So this is the assignment that we had taken yesterday. We completed discussion on step four yesterday of exercise one. In exercise one, we are trying to observe the self. That is consciousness, observing the consciousness. And in step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is, in particular the feeling without any evaluation, without any judgment, without any attempt to modify, without any attempt to stop it or react to it, whatever. We try to observe the imagination as it is, the feeling as it is. And this is something that we have to continue with. And this can become a regular practice for us, every moment observing oneself. Whenever you have time, whenever you are free of your commitments and you have some spare time for yourself, then you can just be there with yourself and observe your imagination, in particular the feeling. And you can always be aware of the feeling. Generally, we are tuned to be aware of the thoughts whenever we try to be aware also. But now we have to get down to the feeling and be aware of that every moment. So this is what we try to do in step one. In step two, we try to evaluate the feeling to see whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. That is whether I want the continuity of it or not. That is, is it in accordance with human nature or not? In that process, I'm able to evaluate my feeling and I'm also able to be aware of my natural acceptance. When I was only observing at the level of thought and was trying to make out whether my thought is acceptable to me naturally or not, I could not get a very clear answer. But when I'm able to observe the feeling and see if it is naturally acceptable to me or not, I can clearly see it. And I get more clarity about my natural acceptance also. I'm able to distinguish natural acceptance and acceptance also. In step three, we try to observe the state of being whether I'm comfortable or not, whether I'm in harmony or not, whether I'm happy or not, isn't it? Now in step four, we are trying to see who is deciding my feeling. Is it me or someone else or the situation outside? With that discussion, we are trying to make it out every moment that it is me who is deciding the feeling. At the level of thought with some analysis, we can say that, yes, it is me. But at the spur of the moment, if I have to decide who is deciding the feeling, I have to make it out, then it may take some effort. Because generally, when our feeling gets disturbed, we tend to assume that somebody else is disturbing it. It's not me. And this is a common practice. This is a common kind of condition. So for the next 24 hours, in every incident and interaction with others, evaluate your feeling and ask yourself, who is deciding this feeling? Someone else, the circumstance outside, or myself? Who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness? Someone else, the circumstance outside, or myself? And then we have to note down our observation. We could also see that once I am able to observe for myself that I am deciding my feeling, I can also see that I'm 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. With that, I start owning the responsibility of developing myself so that I do not become unhappy. I want to be happy every moment. I am making myself unhappy. So I am doing that because I am lacking some competence in me. So I have to develop that competence. Naturally, I start owning that responsibility. And Another thing that happens naturally with it, I stop blaming others for my unhappiness. When I own the responsibility for my happiness, then I also stop blaming others for my unhappiness. So I start getting free of grudges, complaints about others. Nice. So this assignment we had. What we can do while sharing also, some hands are, let us first share our reflection of the home assignment that we did yesterday. And then we can share other things. Ji. Oh yes, uh, daily I used to have coffee. So yesterday while I was boiling the milk, the milk got spoiled. 
immediately i was having a feeling of opposition why the milk is getting spoiled then i came to an understanding that since the milk was kept outside for a long time yesterday that is why the milk gets spoiled once i am able to see this i was having a feeling uh, i was feeling a uh, pleasant bayam that disturbance was not there then i came out um, i was badly in need of coffee so i was looking for that milkman to get milk our old milkman came so i was asking him half a liter milk but he said no i don't have extra half milk then again i was disturbed i was assuming that since i dropped him and i am having a new milkman i was having the assumption since i dropped him long back now he is saying no like that i was having that feeling then i was unhappy for a long time maybe for 10 to 15 minutes then i was exploring within myself might be that milkman was not having extra milk that may be one reason or he may not be interested to give me for whatsoever reason like that i came to a conclusion then i was feeling resolved is it fine by her there i was uh, able to feel it that i am sure by her and this is how i came to a resolution is this fine by her this is my first question one thing you do if you observe you missed one thing as you said ah. no, i was badly in need of coffee ah so you missed this part see how come it has become a need for which you know you are becoming becoming anxious you are becoming restless ah, so, ah. so some sensation is there for which you are used to and yes, if you are not enjoying that sensation you are getting restless so mm -hmm. if you look at the complete scenario initially ah. the feel this uh, milk got spoiled so you become unhappy right? ah. and then you got some reason for that then you got unhappy with the milkman because he was not giving extra milk but essentially ah. within your you see you know you are conditioned for some sensation now mm -hmm. it's only uh, a matter of chance that this sensation could not be fulfilled Uh, because of lack of milk it could be for some other reason also maybe you asked somebody to prepare coffee on time and the other did not prepare maybe you went to prepare coffee and the gas was not there okay mm -hmm. or the coffee powder got used and nobody informed you on time so all these mm -hmm. reasons could be there. so one major mm -hmm. thing we missed out was why i am looking for a favorable situation so badly mm -hmm. right so it's fine if you take coffee mm. i'm not saying that in itself it is you know something wrong but if you are trying to fetch happiness out of it then you become enslaved and you can just see and in all those moments maybe that happened for about half an hour to one hour isn't it mm. you mm. Mm. because you are trying to fetch happiness through that unfair through that favorable situation which was not being fulfilled mm mm so in exercise 2 as we explore we can see that you know uh, we might be trying to fetch happiness through some favorable sensation from outside and then we become enslaved so i'm not able to observe the sensation as it is and i'm not also able to observe the meaning that i'm associating to that sensation so mm -hmm. if you observe closely so many things happen right? mm -hmm. if the milk gets spoiled but i am not having that urge for coffee from inside i will not get that much unhappy so here mm -hmm. the prime sense of happiness we will be your you know conditioning for a favorable sensation mm. right ji 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 so i miss that part of sensation yeah so for that you have to again explore and investigate you know why mm. i become so much dictated by some sensation ji ji bhaiya you may not get that several sensation at multiple times in a day you know or mm, mm. you have gone to some you know place where this is not available 
Mm. For example, if you come to north, maybe in many houses you not find coffee. Generally, people take tea. So mm -hmm. then you may you know, feel bad for the other also. That see this person called me at home and he's not you know, having coffee also to serve to me. Mm -hmm. Observe this. Okay, good okay, that but yeah, sure. Good that you have started observing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, regarding that, just like, uh, sure. Uh, nice. Is it fine, by the way I came to a resolution regarding that milkman since he denied milk for me? Uh, no, you just explained it. It doesn't mean that you have trust on the other. You try to explain at the level of thought with some logic. Uh, uh. So your feeling was not acceptable to you at that moment. To somehow try to analyze and accept the situation. But it's not that you, know, you, could, you could be able to see the intention of the milkman. So it was not resolved at the level of feeling. You try to resolve it at the level of thought with some analysis. Uh-huh. So both the things, no, as we started discussing, like we try to fetch happiness through some favorable feeling from others or through some favorable sensation from the body. Uh -huh. Right. So both the things were uh, visible here. <coughs> Isn't it? Uh -huh. So we're expecting some favorable feeling from the milkman, which could not be met. We were expecting some favorable sensation from the body, which could not be met. And then you try to mm. analyze and settle the things. But ultimately, it has not got resolved. You could only pacify yourself with some analysis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the root, the problem remains. Okay, okay, Baya. Okay, uh, Baya, suppose. Uh, Gee, Baya, suppose. So, with the thought, I came to a conclusion that might be the milkman is not having, might be the milkman is not interested to give me that half liter milk. Uh, so, that was one thought. Yeah. How it should be if I should work on the feeling of trust, Baya? So, you can have uh, a dialogue how? with the feeling of trust. Okay, you could very simply with say myself? That, You could very simply say that my uh, milk got spoiled. And somehow ah. I used to take coffee in the morning and I need half a little more. Are you in a position to give it to me? Because when the milkman comes, no, his one concern is that yeah. he should not be uh, left with any milk after distribution. So they will generally not carry any extra milk. If you have to take some extra ah, milk, ah. you have to tell them beforehand. Yes, yes. Isn't it? So we can be able to see his condition also. Mm. So it's not that whenever we ask, he is able to provide. So it's not that he did not intend to give to you because of some reason. So with a feeling of trust, we can always share our situation with the other and just ask the other, get in dialogue with the other. Is it possible for the other? If not, then we can go and get a pouch of milk. The milkman can easily explain to us and then we can understand his situation also and go and get a pouch of milk Somehow, if we become opposed to the milkman and, for example, start shouting on him, then from the next day, what he's going to do? If somebody asks for an extra uh, share of milk, he will give to the other and then mix water with the rest of the milk so that the quantity is adequate for the rest of the you know, families, mm -hmm. which is not a good practice. No, we can also see that these are certain things you know, where people get into unethical things. Mm -hmm. So I have to also see for the milkman that if I force him to give me some extra milk, mm -hmm. then how will he distribute to the other families? Then he, he will have to mm -hmm. mix water or something. Otherwise, if mm -hmm. he provides a little less to some family, the other family will also be shouting on him. Mm -hmm. So it's not that since uh, you feel that he's opposed to me, and that's why he's not giving milk to me extra. But it's not mm -hmm. true. It may be true also, but it may not be true also. Mm -hmm. so generally, start with the assumption that since the other is opposed to me, that's why he or she is not going by my ways. 
which may not be the case. The other mm -hmm. also has you know, certain concerns, which we have to understand. Mm -hmm. So one good way to do is, I'll place myself in the shoes of the others. Mm. And just see you know, what our concern is going to be. Mm. Baya, sorry, Baya, one more thing only, it is not um, reaching yes, me. Yes. yes. Had it been with a feeling of trust, how I would have handled for the milkman's response, Baya? If I had a feeling of trust. Um, yeah, that's why that I'm saying. not getting, Baya. Uh, I explained that. So I will share my condition to the milkman. But, Baya, to be frank, in the morning, he is also in rush. He won't uh, sit and listen to all my discussions, no, Baya. Yeah. So again, with a feeling of trust, I can see that he's in a rush. So in place of pursuing uh, him, he arrange for milk from the uh, market. I know that it is not possible for him to give me extra half a liter you know, because uh, the quantity that he's carrying is measured. Uh, uh, he cannot provide me extra. So in place uh, of you know, insisting upon him, uh, I'll just go and purchase from the market. If I'm able to see this much that he is in a rush, he cannot listen to my whole discussion, then I'll not mm. try to pull him also into discussion. Mm, mm. Mm. You just ask him that are you in a position to give me some half a liter milk extra, right? Mm. If he says well and good, nice. So I'll not have any feeling of position. Have... Mm. Mm. That means I'm having feeling of trust. No, it's, it doesn't essentially mean. See, once you have the feeling of trust, this will happen. But the contrary is not contrary is not true. If it is not happening, doesn't mean that you have trust. And showed in you. Oh, oh. Not contrary. Converse, no? Converse is not true. So, Converse is, uh. yeah. So, it's not that if I'm not reacting, I'm having the feeling of trust. So, if I'm having the feeling of trust, I will not react. But occasionally, I may not react you know, because of some thought, some analysis also. So if I'm not reacting, it doesn't mean that I have been able to contemplate on the feeling of trust. Because if I'm able to contemplate on the feeling of trust, it will continue. So today I'm not reacting. Tomorrow I may again react. With this person, I'm not reacting. With the other person, I may again react. Mm -hmm. So it's not the... Got it, got it. Yeah. So if I have been able to contemplate on the feeling of trust, my response will always be there in my behavior. Mm. But if sometimes I'm responding, it doesn't mean that contemplation is there in me. No. It could mm. be there because of some conditioning. It could be there because of some analysis that I'm doing at the moment and I'm not reacting. That all is possible. Mm. See, mm. with the feeling of trust, I see the relationship first. So before I approach someone for some physical facility, I'm able to see the relationship. Mm. The feeling of relationship only I'm interacting with the other. Mm. You just try to you know, explore this today. Mm. Maybe you yes, yeah. Okay. And you just try to see what all conditions the milkman goes through. Sure. So with a feeling of yeah, trust, yeah. I'm going to empathize with the other also. That mm. empathy will be there in me. Mm. And many times we are looking at the other as something quite external to me, as something quite mm. different from me. Isn't okay, it? Yeah. G, G, G. Uh, slowly things Bye. are getting clear, by uh, new insights, by yeah, Thank but you, do this. try to put yourself in the shoes of the milkman and try to mm. explore the whole scenario. Mm. He's managing his family you know, through earning from milk. The time he gets up in the morning, then the you know, things that he has to do in the morning, then he has to go for distribution. And then multiple mm. people are responding in multiple ways. Mm. 
I'm also not saying that the milkman has the right understanding, right feeling, and sure. But the competency lacking on every side, on the side mm. of the milk, on the side of people who are taking milk from him, right? And then we can try to see what would be the program to live with continuous happiness. If I am into dairy, mm. I'm, you know, rearing cows and providing milk to the people, what would be my program to ensure happiness in continuity? Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Video. Thank you so much, Vaya. Let me say that at okay. some stand in Kanpur, we have been rearing cows and distributing milk for a long time in IIT campus. Mm -hmm. So when I was also staying there, I used to go for distributing milk to the professors. And I could mm -hmm. see multiple kinds of reactions. For example, when I was giving <laughs> milk to the professor, the milk would trickle down the measure and you know, fall on the floor. And then uh. he will have to move the floor, right? And he will get angry on me that we also don't know how to measure milk and share. You know, uh, put in it's a Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying how people may react for different reasons. Mm. Nice, Didi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bhai. Uh, Bhaiya. Uh, it's very, uh, I'm able to observe uh, uh, my feelings uh, in every incident and every uh, moment uh, you, uh, I interact with the people. But uh, one thing uh, I am unable to come out of from small disturbance because uh, whenever I interact with the people, uh, if there is a little bit, uh, uh, the past actions where we have some contradictory, so uh, some thoughts are rising and recollecting the past actions. Uh, uh, even though I know that I, are, I don't want to uh, go through the past actions, uh, whatever happened, but uh, be in present. But uh, those thoughts are uh, uh, coming uh, and uh, a little bit disturbance I have in my mind. So I am unable to uh, understand how to overcome these uh, feelings of uh, that the uh, disturbance part is concerned. Yeah, we have few things here. First of all, you need not avoid it. Yes. There is no yes. need to avoid any remembrance from the past. One thing. Yes. Because yes. that is there in you. Whenever yes. you are full, it will start surfacing up. So you do not need to forget it. You do not need to ignore it you know, or avoid it. Right? Yes. So let it be there. Now, in those all past situations where you were unhappy, uncomfortable right just try to have a look at it see the feeling inside you yes at this moment and in those moments also when you were going through that situation and yes. go through this process the way we are progressing in exercise go through this process observe whether it is acceptable to you naturally observe whether you are comfortable inside observe ultimately who decided that feeling so many times when you remember the past we are blaming others for our unhappiness yes and then we are reactive inside we are having clear our position inside now you can see as we are exploring step four that in that situation also if i became unhappy i was disturbed it was my lack of competence the other was also having lack of competence because of the situation became like that but ultimately if i got unhappy it was my lack of competence so first of all, no need to avoid it. Let it be there and let it come. Because it will come today or tomorrow, ultimately. It is there in you. It is not yet resolved. So let it be there, right? Go yes. over it. Second thing, you are able to see that in that situation also, it was my lack of competence because of which I became unhappy. Yes. And then we can go further through steps five, six, and seven. The problem arises when I only get reminded of those past situations, but I'm not able to fix my responsibility. I'm also not able to see the way to resolve myself. If I'm able to fix my responsibility, if I'm able to see the way to resolve myself, then whenever it comes next, I feel resolved. I'm settled there. I know what happened. Intention of every human being was pure, but the competence was lacking. 
that's why the situation got spoiled i'm very much able to see this and yes. because of my lack of competence i become unhappy right and i feared my unhappiness and i spoiled the situation further because yes. in that situation it may be the case that you also had indefinite conduct you misbehaved you shouted you got angry you got irritated isn't it yes. so you can see that also your role in that situation was not naturally acceptable to you now when i am able to see my natural acceptance for relationship harmony and coexistence then i can also see in the same situation what would be the right way to participate Yes. So then yes, you see that we are not having the feeling of prosperity in us. We are not having the feeling of relationship in us, right? These yes. two major issues are there because of which situation gets spoiled at home, in the office, in the marketplace. So people are either struggling for physical facilities or they are struggling for respect. Yes. And. if everyone is struggling for physical facility or for respect the situation is of course going to get spoiled if at least one person is there in that situation who is have able to ensure this within then one will not react yes. one will be able to see the whole scenario and resolve yes so in my case uh, uh, the uh, uh, the past uh, actual thoughts are coming and uh, because i i am able to understand is my responsibility uh, the decision which i take i am only the sole responsible and uh, i want to make uh, the strong feelings of relationship so these are won't stay back long but uh, disappearing but these are getting uh, inside uh, that is the thing uh, i am unable to come out but uh, i am always making good relationship and i feel uh, harmony in my side but uh, they are coming and uh, going away immediately so without yes. coming uh, that is a problem now but uh, i am not uh, going uh, opposing tendency or anything but uh, so small moment of time uh, they are coming that's that is uh, i am unable to come from that yeah so let it come first of all don't avoid it let it come yes okay yes. if you avoid it you know then whenever you uh, get some free time it will again come back so no need to avoid and then go through all these steps so evaluate it and then transform it yes there also when you get reminded <clears throat> try to see the feeling in place of the situation that was there yes try to see the feeling also try to see the intention of everyone in the same situation yes. like as geeta didi was saying no so the milkman has the right intention but he has some own some concerns of his own <clears throat> he is thinking yes. of so many things and uh, we also have some concern yes and our concerns are not being met together and yes. both may be trying to get happiness out of some favorable feeling or some favorable sensation which is not being ensured yes for so, example yes. it is high summer time right here yes. in the north you can see you know, the heat wave is there now for example there is one ac in the house now who will be you know utilizing that ac or who will be there in the room in which the ac is there now this may spoil the whole situation at home so one may either think of purchasing more than one ac providing one ac to every human every person in the house or we may feel like sharing it or you may also see that whether i actually need it or not could there be some alternative or not if i am not able to see all this and then there is some turmoil in the family people start fighting and then they start using you know some profane language for each other and you try to remember the situation sometime later right but you are not yeah. able to see the basic reasons for that same scenario Yes. that people were trying to fetch happiness through favorable sensation and since this was not being met so the feeling got spoiled and then the ill feeling was shared with other and then the whole situation got spoiled and became a war like situation for example so if yes. i am not able to see 
all these details then whenever i remember this i will feel bad okay i was not earning enough because of which i could not get ac in my every room because of which there was so much disturbance in the family but that may not be the solution yes sir we are not able to see how ac is spoiling the atmosphere outside you know yeah we are not able to see the relationship we are not able to see our dependence on sensation for happiness and then we merely think of getting more and more physical facilities and feel bad about it so many times when we remember the past also we are not able to see the basic issues we are only analyzing various things and trying to derive solution with some assumptions which are unverified yes so bhaiya this uh, in practicing this exercises from 1 to 3 uh, i i i feel that i can do the exercise um, to some extent i can do because i can feel <clears throat> my feelings and i can observe that whether uh, these feelings are naturally acceptable or not but um, and some things has during these one and a half months um, some uh, things has changed also because now i am aware of my feelings i once asked you that whenever something happens in university or something some situations are like this uh, not favorable then i carry those feelings i once asked you but now i can feel that um, a change has happened uh, inside me so this is much more positive but the in practicing step 4 still i feel a doubt uh, because whenever we seek happiness um, as our innate nature and i we feel that we must be responsible uh, to seek happiness and others are not but we have always come through those um, um, situations or interactions and we had memories earlier maybe those are faded also but those things are actually not favorable and we feel uncomfortable i still feel uncomfortable so i want a clarity here that bhaiya um i must assure uh, in those feelings should i analyze that all those feelings which has ar- arose in my mind is uh, universally accepted or not whether it is um, it is good for one self it is good for nature or not if it is universally good for every for every human being for every unit of nature then okay it is nice but if it is not good then i should not feel unhappy so i must assure inside me so that i can have an uh, happiness inside me and it is not dependent on other or i should must uh, feel that this is the feeling this is a coexistence everything must coexist so i want clarity in that step number 4 bhaiya yeah. yeah so what you are trying to do you are somewhat trying to accept it and you know, through some analysis with that whether it is good for every human being whether it is good for the entire nature or not you can do that also this is also one way to proceed from here we get some hint about natural acceptance but you can observe the natural acceptance as it is so once you are able to see the feeling and your state of being you can very much see if it is naturally acceptable to me if i am not in harmony within okay if it is disturbing me and certainly it is not acceptable to me naturally because when you go to make some analysis for people across the world then you are working with some information when you say that something is good for the entire world or not now how do i know this being here hmm okay for example while deciding for food hmm how do i know it out because there is a variety of food people go for whether it is good for them or not good for them how do i come to know there will be so many data to analyze So ultimately, this will not help you in the long run because okay. you filled with contradictions. Okay, bhaiya. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, like one good thing is that you start investigating within, but if you can just see the natural acceptance ideas, then you are settled. Mm. 
if you are not able to see the natural acceptance as it is and trying to analyze all this through the data fetched from outside, <clears throat> then you may not be resolved. Well, yeah, natural acceptance as it is means? Means that is <laughs> innate to you. You have to observe it yourself. That is that means I we, we have to again accept that these are like this only or what? No. If I am saying this is like this only, it is a kind of assumption, acceptance. Yes, not natural yes. Acceptance. Oh, yes. Natural acceptance means ask yourself, what do I want? So with any human being, what do I want? If I look within then maybe you are looking at the desires first, but gradually you are able to see the natural acceptance. If you want to qualify it further, you can also say, what do I basically want? Mm -hmm. For example, I basically want relationship, not mm -hmm. opposition. I may be in opposition, but I basically want relationship with the other. Mm -hmm. Since it is not being fulfilled, I'm getting opposed. Similarly, I want health for the body. It is not basically happiness that I am trying to look for through physical facility. I mm. want happiness, but I can also see that if I am trying to get happiness from sensation, it is not continuous. And mm. I dependence outside. All this I can see. So I basically want to be happy. I basically want to be fulfilled. And if the source is inside, then only it can continue, else it will not continue. I can observe all this for me. So step four of the exercise, uh, we have to try a lot. Yeah. Step four of the exercise, yeah. <clears throat> something it is difficult to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so keep on doing this. So you cannot omit it. It is there, right? Many times we feel that it's very simple. We can skip over it. I am always saying that I am responsible. What is to be looked further into it? But when I go to observe it, in those moments of interaction, then mm. maybe I'm not able to see it. So yes, mm. it may appear difficult at times, may appear simple at times, but we have to go through that. We have to accept that responsibility. Unless I accept that responsibility, how will I accept to work upon myself further? Mm, yes. Then I will keep finding faults in others and suggesting to others how others can be set right. Mm. And this is what we are doing. We are giving you know, possession to the entire humanity. All the people mm. that you have to be doing this, you have not to do this, you should be doing this, you should not be doing this, all those things you are saying. But why I innately need to do, I'm not clear about. Okay, yeah. Maya. Okay, Maya. Ji, Prashant Ji, after a long time, I think you are back from the foreign tour. Ji, Maya, on the way in your Delhi only, on T3 airport. <laughs> Thank you, Bhaiya. I was I was doing exercise daily, but today the chance to share. Uh, I was seeing with the food only when I was in different countries, France, uh, Switzerland, and Europe means uh, the um, Italy last and Abu Dhabi. So I was not getting angry or irritated. Whatever it was there, I was saying and I was finding the happiness. Happily, I was doing Bhaiya. So thank you. This is my sharing today. Thank you. Yeah, but this could be because of some favorable sensation from outside you have to observe it, uh, it i i checked yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah 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 so thank you, out. Okay. Nice, okay. Nice thank you see um but yeah if i can see this exercise one and step four that i can see that I was having misconception for last one and a half year that I have overcome that I am myself is responsible and I I am um, for my happiness and unhappiness 
and um, I was uh, thinking that I have overcome and uh, not influenced by outside circumstances. Uh, recently, my elder sister expired and last month only and uh, uh, now I am feeling indifferent to each and everything and uh, it looks that everything has lost and uh, somehow uh, to be happy every time and not even a single incident is uh, making me happy and I am thinking now that uh, she was the most precious thing for me and all my happiness has gone with her. So it's very difficult to accept now. Yeah. So again, look into it more closely <clears throat> because you are dependent on hap for happiness on something outside. So this yeah. happiness is not going to continue. And here you will see that I'm not looking at happiness as a state of harmony within. I can understand this is not naturally acceptable for last last month on 18th of May only she expired and um, it's very difficult to come out of that. Yes. See, for that only, no, we are exploring it <clears throat> proactively. So one thing that we are trying to explore in exercise one is the feeling part. When we go to exercise two, we are trying to observe the coexistence of self and body. And we can see that body is a temporary unit. Today it is there, tomorrow it may not be there. And that is always you know, different from the body, different from the self. So self and body are two different things and they are coexisting. Death essentially means that no longer the transaction is taking place between the self and the body. So okay. the only difference is that presently the transaction is taking place and you know, sometime later the transaction is not taking place. So I can see very much within me that body is temporary for every human being who is around me also. The body is temporary. Once I'm able to see it clearly, then I am in a better position to observe a relation of self and self. Mm -hmm. With my spouse, with my child, with my parents, with my brothers and sisters, with my friends. So okay. now I'm in a... You know, I am. I have become more observant about the presence of self. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So, if you do that thing within yourself, you try to explore it. Then we are already prepared for that. That yes, I am going to be there. My relative is also going to be there as a self in continuity. Only that the transaction that I am having between me and my body may not continue. The transaction that he or she is having with the body may not continue. And the transaction that we are having through the body may not continue. That's all. So that is always there. That is there for every human being. Mm -hmm. So now when I am able to see this, I am able to better relate myself to the other self. And I start complementing the other in terms of developing the right understanding and right feeling. Mm -hmm able to see the true fulfillment of relationship. Generally, we try to fulfill the relationship either in terms of physical facilities or you know, in terms of fulfilling the needs of the body, right? Or through some sharing of our current state of being. But okay. that is not actually complementing any relationship. The complementary part in the relationship is developing the right understanding, right feeling in myself as well as the other. So when I'm able to see this clearly every moment, right, I can see the relation of self and self. So every moment I am participating with the other self with that understanding only, which is not the case at the moment. Okay. That's why you feel at a loss. Okay. It is taking more time that I have ever expected. I was thinking, I was having misconception that I will come out of it easily and uh, I can see the relationship between self and self. I can understand that body is not permanent. Even then, uh, most of the time I feel that I am suppressing my feelings and uh, try to uh, ignore or divert my attention from that instead of connecting with that self. 
point it is so it is generally the case we all you know we start with lack of competence gradually become competent we all have to go through this kind of situation you know Gee. so in every family birth and death is taking place so that is something which is there for every family and if we start looking at the reality proactively then we can be better resolved in all these situations ji ji thank you bhaiya thank you nice to be yeah bhaiya that's uh, my uh, question or we can say i want some more clarification uh, with respect to the present discussion which went with didi that's when a self is associated with body and now it is disassociated and the another self like didi who is there presently the self is associated with her the is there any possibility of having a communication between the departed soul with the existing soul can you throw more light over it bhaiya there is no need for that as such bhaiya basically <clears throat> the people with whom i am living if i am able to rightly relate with them i am able to compliment them in terms of developing right understanding right feeling so i am able to see that yes i have played my role satisfactorily otherwise the way we are transacting at the moment with others the same kind of transaction we like to have with the self who is not there with the body how will it help the other so it's you know better to fulfill the relationship every moment in place of lamenting for something and then trying to do it by some other means at some later point of time so having accomplished step 4 now we can go to step 5 so we are able to see that i am responsible for my feeling i am deciding my feeling then i can go and further see what is the basis for this decision so we are able to see in step 4 that it is i the self who is deciding the feeling that i have at this moment now i am trying to find out the basis on which i am deciding my feeling my thought so what is the basis on which i decide my feeling my thought is it right understanding or some assumption in the absence of right understanding when i decide my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding i am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me that is it is natural and then i am remaining comfortable i am in harmony i am in a state of happiness within when i decide my feeling thought on the basis of assumption some preconditioning it is not definite which feeling i decide for a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me or an otherwise feeling my state is indefinite comfortable or uncomfortable in harmony or in contradiction in a state of happiness or unhappiness so from this i can see the need for right understanding and i can and the need for deciding my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding independent of whether everything outside is fine or not fine so as a conclusion you know i am able to see the need for developing the right understanding in me because it is me who is responsible for my unhappiness and i basically aspire to be happy every moment so i have to develop the competence in me so i try to trace the reason for my unhappiness so am i deciding on the basis of right understanding or some assumption about the reality so this is something that will start observing now yesterday evening uh, i was there on the terrace because uh, inside the room it was very hot so i was getting cool breeze on the terrace i went there and came down after one hour and uh, when i entered my wife told me something and uh, i could not hear properly so after that i asked what it is then see flares with that yes you are spending time alone always uh, and uh, you are not attentive so you cannot hear so please be attentive in 
then he she told that yes you are using the headphone and all that always and so therefore your hearing capacity has come down and <laughs> so you are you are not able to hear so immediately i reacted i told that where is where is the headphone now i am not using now why you are telling this but she was not feeling well at this and immediately in the in next moment i i gave a smile and i tried to change this circumstance but it was in in, in the, on her part it was not immediately so after that it it went uh, all normal so it is that after that i thought that yes why should i should not have reacted like that and i resolved by that and everything now okay so this was my some experience today evening thank you nice nice <laughs> so this has become a common issue like when we are attending the morning session regularly for one hour every day so the family members are getting reactive so we have to see yeah, like, yeah. we have to talk to them and then we can say that yes this one hour you can spare and whatever task you have for me just let me know and uh-huh. try to do it beforehand uh uh-huh. yes nice bhaiya thank you thank you ji um bhaiya guys assignment in fact it was a daily um, day to day like uh, i got a message of my one of the colleague uh, about whom uh, uh, from the actually this is my uh, more than 15th year at bhd mesa so uh, initially i was very fond of her means uh, i have learned a lot from her but uh, oh, but uh, i am able to see that in such a such way in last few years that i am i i have developed a feeling of opposition to her though i am not occasionally occasionally means uh, expressing it i am uh, trying to live with the responsibility but i could see na bhaiya that <laughs> there is inside uh, an opposition uh, though i uh, could find the answer to this step 5 that uh, she is also evolving uh, she is also uh, um, i mean uh, there uh, bhaiya matlab i could get the answer that this was my uh, preconditioning that uh, uh, if if the, it if this is this message is uh, if some message has been came from that madam then obviously this some negative things will be there but it's my preconditioning i can understand she uh, is also getting changed uh, uh, i have uh, noticed and in fact is uh, i think in the eight batch i have told about uh, her only uh, some uh, at some point of time that i just want to ignore her okay you are doing that keep doing i matlab i i don't care for but uh, certainly uh, i mean uh, with time uh, since with time she is also getting changed so uh, i think i got my answer mujhe mera yahi tha prashn tha ki mere andar jo opposition ki feeling aa rahi hai main usko kaise dur karu matlab internal opposition jo aa jata hai i got it ki meri preconditioning hai thank you very much for giving me maybe so you don't have any question Fine. Yeah, my I got three job through with this step five. Thank you, my. Okay. So now I can see the need for developing the right understanding. So first of all, I have to question myself. Again, I do not start by assuming that this is lack of right understanding. I will try to see what is there inside me. So I became unhappy, and I can see that I am responsible for my unhappiness. I decided for the feeling. which is not acceptable to me naturally so from where did i get this feeling what assumption i am carrying within so is this feeling based on right understanding of my relationship with the other or in any physiochemical thing of the participation in that situation or based on some assumption so we have to keep on observing this You know, this is something that we have to spend time, and when you go to uh, 
observe the basis for your decision making then you can see a whole lot of assumptions that you are carrying within it could be alarming for you also because it may be the case that i have not understood anything i'm just assuming things about the reality okay so in spite of all the education that we have got i do not have right understanding of reality of any part of it it may be the case i am just getting some information from the body i am analyzing i am concluding but the understanding is missing and when i am concluding also i am making some assumptions inside me about which i am unclear for example now that we are exploring we can say that yes human being is coexistence of self and body but generally if i just look at the way the whole education is going on the whole the people are looking at things so from my eyes i can see things with shape and size which are material right the body is also material so i can see the material things and i can assume the human being also as being material the whole existence as being material now i am carrying this assumption inside me and deciding everything for myself for my interaction with others and i am unaware of that so i have to look closely into you know whether my decision is based on right understanding or some assumption i have to look closely into this then only i can be in a position to work for right understanding right if it is already based on right understanding it will be fulfilling for me if not then it will not be fulfilling for me so i have to look into the basis open ended way in an open ended way so on what basis i am deciding something for me on what basis i am getting opposed what is the assumption we need on what basis i am getting anxious what is the assumption underlying it so nice we'll keep discussing about step 5 further we have just started the discussion so we conclude the english session now because it is time now and then we can go to the hindi session ji okay.